Welcome to the Fabric Studio. I'd like to introduce you to a new software design program which emphasizes creating your own fabric and turning that fabric design into one-of-a-kind projects. The software can be used in many ways including the actual design of an image swatch which is how most designers create their fabric collection. What you do with that image swatch is really what makes the software unique. From personalized fabric to memory blocks, to family tree layouts, and even designing your own quilt label, the Fabric Studio is there to help with its tools and detailed instructions to accomplish that goal very easily. No more copying and pasting in order to get your fabric to repeat. With the autofill function of the software, you can take a single image swatch and create whatever size project you wish in three easy keystrokes. Now let's take a look at the program. The software opens with a quick start interface. This is the best place to get step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the software. It is broken into two parts. The top row of buttons deal with all the elements of working on your swatch and the bottom row deals with creating your pattern. By clicking on any of the buttons, it takes you directly to the help screen on your workspace. You can scroll down um, through a set of detailed instructions with lots of screenshots and helpful tips. All the basic functionality is covered right within the framework. Next, let's take a look at the workspace. The pattern design box is unique to the Fabric Studio. It's where you access your images, create your patterns, and have access to more advanced features of the software. The toolbar the color box and layering box all help you create and alter your design. Now let's go take a look at how an image swatch works. Most of the time when you design fabric you're working on a very small section and the small area repeats. That is exactly what we'll be cre creating in the software. This is the swatch. If we click to the next size you can see up in the left a box I've outlined. That's the swatch and this is the repeat. Now let's take a look at how the images are organized. We have 12 different image libraries in the deluxe versions, things like dots, stripes, small prints, etc. Most of our images come in both black and white and color. All of the images that we've created for you are .png files, but we do have some JPEG texture files included also. Let's take a look at some of the things you can do to the images that we have. This is our button image and now I'm going to change, go to the next slide. We've changed the color and the texture to create a whole new look for that same image. When we do the repeat we get a great fun sheet of fabric. Um, we also have a library called Celebration. In this case um, we've left you lots of room to add text so by just clicking on your text bar it loads your fonts and you can easily drop names in. Another thing you can do with it um, with the images is combine them. This time we've started with a fall leaf. We've opened photos into the software. We've brought in one of our words and one of our seasonal little scarecrow to create a great fall pr project. And when we do the repeat on this we have wonderful unique fall fabric. I also like to start from scratch. In this case I opened up one of my photos, I brought in the word BFF and I started on a blank swatch and by using multiple photos and the word BFF I've created my own unique fabric swatch. Now that your fabric swatch is done we can go to the next phase which is creating your pattern. The standard pattern you create is an 8.5 by 11 workspace. The image swatch is set up to repeat approximately four times across and five times down. When you're working with a single element or a single seamless image, the autofill function of the software will create the repeat. Although sometimes you might want to have a single object repeat four across and five down, your pattern will not have any movement. The autofill function gives you the ability to do drops on the repeat, which results in isometric movement by just entering a formula. Also, we have some advanced features um, for the software. We're going to take a look at one of them. 
This is our circular pattern that we've created. We also have diagonal movement, mirror imaging, and multicircular movements with lots of variations within each function. You're able to build your memory blocks, family tree, and other projects using the layering system. No more applique or wonder under. Your images will be seamless in your fabric because in the Fabric Studio you're creating both your background fabric and images all at once. Labeling and adding text to your images, putting multiple photos within the same area, just got much easier with this software due to the layering tools included. You are not limited to any size or shape within the software. You can use the program to create, create quilt labels, silk scarves, um, using the banner mode, and even preview what a yard of fabric might look like before you send it off to the printer. I hope this video gets you excited about our software. It's a great product with lots of possibilities and an inspiration for many creative projects to come. Thank you.